Greetings everybody, it's Ultimate Iron Man Armadale here. Today we're going to bring you some more Tomb of Muska guides, and today it's Skull Skip. So what is Skull Skip? It is a technique where you get more points and thus higher drop rate by purposely leaving one skull alive in the skull phase. And the reason this works is because the number of points you get is based off of the number of damage you do to the warden in this final phase here. And the point multiplier for the warden in this phase is huge. If you were to destroy all the skulls, then the skulls will go back to the warden and actually damage him for about 80 damage in my case here. Uh, and this damage does not count towards your point potential. So by skull skipping, the warden does not take this 80 pointless damage and you get to do the 80 damage, which usually translates into about a 10% extra drop rate for me. So if I normally get 3% drop rate I will, with skull skip, I will get 3.3%. That's pretty big. Okay, so I hope you're convinced that this is worth it. Now you might be asking, how do I do it? It's actually very simple, but the execution can be a little tricky at times. So. Whenever you see the explosion, this is why I have this frame frozen. You see those explosions? The moment you see those explosions, you need to run towards the center tiles. And you need to be standing on this line here. So I have these tile markers. They're kind of hard to see, but if you don't do it like this, I find that you usually fail. The idea of how this works is the same idea as how you would normally run past poison on the ground. And let's look at the live demonstration now as I unfreeze this frame. I, the moment I see the explosion, I click right in the center tile there, and there I, I ran right past the, uh, the uh, wave attack. So back to, back to the rhythm. Next, let's show you what happens when you fail. Keep in mind, you want to be doing skull skip based on your supplies. If you don't have much supplies left and you know you're going to end up using supplies in the final fight, then don't skull skip. Just finish all the skulls. But here, I was not able to get to the position fast enough, so when the explosion happened, I, I took 29 damage. That was only from one skull. At a higher invocation, that one skull will be like 80 damage, and if you were to leave multiple skulls alive, it's an instant wipe. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, the reason why the execution is a little tricky is because as the fight progresses, you'll get these ads, right? So right now, Zebek is here. I now have to concentrate on moving and protecting the right prayer. And then Baba will come later to throw rocks on me. And that makes it very hard to stand in my spot to run across uh, to the center tile. Let's take a look at that. So we're about to enter the next skull skip, which now Baba is here. So now you have to pray against Zebek and dodge Baba's boulders, all the, all the while doing everything else. But I was still able to get a skull skip in because the timing was right. Now imagine if the, bol the boulder were to come on me right here, it would be harder for me to skull skip because then I would have to dodge the boulder first and then run to the center tile. And that's it guys. Now go and practice some skull skip and get some better drop rates. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you learned something, please drop me a like and subscribe. It will really help me grow my channel and motivate me to make more guides for you. I will continue making guides and uh, do my series where I coach players to do TOA. You can tell how much I, I love this raid. This is the first time, uh, the first raid at least, that I really got into. Bye.